How's it going everyone? Want to give you guys a heads up that GameStop is running an absolutely insane sale. Somebody actually left it in my comment section to cover this sale and I was like, yeah, why haven't I covered it? It is a sale that is exclusive to GameStop Power Up Rewards members, the pro members, and obviously they're doing this sale to push their pro membership because they've actually upped the price of their pro membership and I know that's immediately gonna get people thinking, oh, oh that must be whack but it's going from 15 to 25 dollars okay that's a sizable price hike but it'll give you a year-long subscription they have some benefits with it you can look into that yourself i believe you got five dollar credit uh every month to use towards any purchase at gamestop and there's some other bonuses that you get i think it's like five percent off at on used games bro wasn't it like ten percent off when i was growing up i could have sworn it was ten percent off and it was much cheaper than 25 dollars a year nonetheless It'll also grant you access into exclusive sales, and this one in particularly is nuts. It is a buy one, get one free sale at GameStop, and I have the PS4 and PS5 offers uh, sprung up here on my page, and uh, there's some absolutely insane deals. Now, most of these games are at their regular price point, so you really have to pick and choose because, you know, some of these games, when they go on sale, you can get them much cheaper, but uh, let's talk about some of them. First of all, You've got a title like the Callisto Protocol. Callisto Protocol is listed at $29.99, so buy one, get one free brings it down to $15 a copy. So that is insane. And obviously, it's $29.99, and you'll want to pair it with a game of, you know, near equal value. I see something like Star Ocean The Divine Force. Star Ocean The Divine Force and the Callisto Protocol for $15 a pop? That sounds pretty spicy to me. Or you can get Callisto Protocol and Valkyrie Elysium, which is $30 as well. Um, you know, that is pretty good. Dying Light 2 is listed. A new copy is $24.99, and, uh, you know, you can pair it with something close to value uh in that range tactics ogre reborn is there as well so star ocean tactics ogre reborn is 30 bucks as well that's a great option if you want to check that out gotham knights is 39.99 a little too hefty for my liking but like a dragon is sheen so you can get something like like a dragon is sheen and elden ring let's say you're one of the two people that don't own elden ring uh like a dragon is sheen is 59.99 elden ring is 59.99 30 bucks a pop for both of those you might think hey elden ring you're you know 15 month old game for 30 bucks well a uh, Show me where you can get Elden Ring for a better price than 30 bucks. It probably ain't gonna happen. Um, so, yeah, um... That's still a pretty decent option. A Plague Tale Requiem is at $59.99 as well. Like, 30 bucks for a Plague Tale Requiem? Not bad at all. Uh, you've got Deathloop on there. You've got Persona 5 Royal on there. What's the price on Persona 5 Royal for a new copy? $59.99. All right, that's a little wild. That's a little wild. The pre-owned Persona 5 Royal is $19.99. So, that's, like, the craziest differential of a, uh, pre-owned and new copy. You've got Tales of Rise on there as well. Uh, that's $19.99. For whatever reason, on my end, I have it filtered to just show new games, but they show me the used prices for a lot of these games, so you gotta click on the game, and then you'll get the new price as well. But Tales of Rise is $19.99. Pair it with another $19.99 game, and you legit get it for $10. That's a disgustingly good deal. Digimon Survive is $29.99. Had a good time with that game. If you're, like, a fan of visual novels and narrative-driven titles and you like Digimon, you'll probably enjoy it quite a bit. Scarlet Nexus is on there. Is that, is that a good game to pair with Tales of Arise? Let's look at the price of Scarlet Nexus. $19.99. So you can get Scarlet Nexus and Tales of Arise, $10 a pop. You JRPG fiends out there, if you haven't picked up Scarlet Nexus and Tales of Arise, that's a disgusting deal as far as value goes. Both really, really solid JRPG. Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin uh, is there. Devil May Cry 5, Elix 2, Steel Rising, New Tales from the Borderlands Deluxe Edition, which includes Tales from the Borderlands. What's the price on this? This is $19.99. That's 10 bucks for a new copy, even though New Tales from the Borderlands is kind of... Uh, kind of whatever uh you got tales from the borderlands because it's deluxe edition and for 10 bucks like that's that, that's a really really good deal they got that sword art online game there as well saints road 2022 if you want to spend an egregious amount of money on that neo the world ends with you which to be fair is a part of playstation plus uh extra but you know that's something to look at what's soul hackers 2 at if soul hackers 2 is 29.99 uh it isn't it is 59.99 the pre-owned copy is 27.99 that is so wow what's going on here with these pre-owned and new prices i guess obviously they'll be a little bit more cautious to put new games on deeper discounts by the way this is just ps4 and ps5 games if you do want nintendo switch games like the value as a whole is probably in the nintendo switch side of things if you want like the really good deals because i saw stuff like pokemon which you guys know those games rarely go on sale so that's an option as well hades is at 25 dollars, so that's a pretty decent option as well if you do want to check that out but um 
yeah, definitely a worthwhile deal to go through as a whole uh, as far as that's concerned. I do also want to give you guys a heads up on the uh, Nintendo Switch option. So, for, the, for those of you guys that have a Nintendo Switch, which is probably a lot of you, you've got stuff like Pokemon Sword, Harvest Stella, Live Alive, which is great, Dragon Quest Treasures, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, Super Mario Party, Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes, uh, you've got Dragon Ball Z Kakarot on Nintendo Switch, which is valued a little bit higher, Bravely Default 2, 13 Sentinels Aegis Rim on Switch, No Man's Sky on Switch, uh, Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion is available, it looks like that might just be available on the Xbox version of the game, which is kinda lame, um, so yeah, I believe it is just the Xbox version, which, like, honestly, who's buying Crisis Core on Xbox? Probably not that many people, uh, I do see Midnight Suns is on there, FF7 Remake, like the OG, version, which is upgradable to PS5, but, you know, take that for what you will. Uh, King of Fighters 4, uh, 15 is on there, that's pretty good. Uh, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which is available on Plus Extra, but nevertheless, um, Alan Wake Remastered is listed. No More Heroes 3 Day 1 Edition, which is kind of at a hefty price. Uh, Austria Ascending, Need for Speed Unbound, Devil May Cry, uh, so yeah, a ton of great deals, and if you are looking for just the Switch games, like, there's a lot of value in those Switch games as well, so, you know, have a look at it for yourself, you do have to, again, spend $25 to get the year of Pro if you don't have it yet, some of you guys might have a subscription that is running, and I think you should be fine if that is the case, so... You know, that might be something worthwhile to look at. Um, also see Temtem on Nintendo Switch, which if you if you like hate Pokemon for some reason and you want something that's like Pokemon, I mean, that's an option as well. SMT3, uh, just a lot of great deals all around. So definitely have a gander at the sale for yourself. Uh, it is going to run until June the 10th. And I don't expect sales like this to be a regular thing because GameStop just upped the cost of Pro to $25. So maybe this is a way to get people in the door and have a Pro subscription because ultimately their idea is you sign up for pro they incentivize you to buy uh their products and hopefully they can make money on the back end because i don't know like this kind of sale is going to be a profitable venture for them uh right out the gate maybe it is i don't know how the profit margins over at gamestop works and how they uh deem a success or not but there you go with that just a fantastic sale so definitely check it out for yourself but that is going to do it for me let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below sound off there and as always thank you for watching and goodbye Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.